Well, they're taking it all in stride. But what's weird is this is an indoor-outdoor cat. He wants in and out all night. He rings the bell. He keeps us up all night. We can't do a cat door because the other cats will get out. But he wants to stay in, and he's been really close. And the other pendejo, what's that? What's that? You goofy dog. And who's this? Foggers? Did you want to climb the climb the curtain? Here, watch. Watch what he does. But I'm not even gonna vacuum or anything. <sighs> this is a virtual living nightmare. But these arsonists are going around. And I know they were down below in that forest down there. About every hour they let off a couple rounds of uh, gunshots and then shotgun. But you'd think they'd do uh, fireworks, but maybe they don't have any fireworks. But the cops have been trying to find them all night. Come on. Come on, buggers. Come on. Climb the curtains like you always do. Come on. Kitty. Look at his beautiful blue eyes. He's sinister looking, isn't he? Come on. Come on. Come on. I shouldn't encourage him because he's destroying our screens. Oh, everything is such a mess. I hate clutter and I hate mess. But I don't feel good. I just had spinal surgery. This is uh, Adagio for Strings. Ah. This is what keeps playing in our heads. <laughs> it's like having a nightmare hanging over you. I was up all night because there's a shooter down in the valley below. About every hour he would let off a couple of rounds. The police cannot find him. It's just too big of an acreage. There's no roads in there. Anyway, I think that's going to be their number one priority is to find him this morning. Every street has vigilantes. Uh, we're doing 24-hour shifts, uh, four hours at a time, and then somebody sits at the end of the street, armed. Nobody's getting by here. Anyway, this is sad. Like, that's the saddest song in the world. Samuel Barber's Adagios for, for Strings. Anyway... <laughs> I know, we're in God's hands. It's just a building. It's just a building. We have most of our stuff packed up, and then we've taken some of our stuff into our shop. We have a metal shop that's triple insulated walls. It's steel. So I don't think anything's going to burn in there. It might melt from the heat, but we got things in there so it's safe. Anyway, I'm not making sense. I'm, I haven't had any sleep. And I'm still recovering from that spinal fusion. I overdid it. Anyway, 
pray for us. Anyway, more arsonists were busy last night up on the Corbett area. I just posted a video on that. Oh, dear God. Go back to Portland and protest. Don't come out here and do that. Anyway, the protesters are no longer downtown Portland. They're out here in the suburbs. We've proved that.